Hi friends, this is Susie, your Candy Crush Guru, here to help you solve the puzzle of level 2320, where we have 27 moves to collect two ingredients. Okay, so the ingredients start here, and we have to get them into one of these receptacles. So we've got to clear out a lot of these licorice locks. We also have mystery candies set to come down here, and we've got a five layer thick frosting. Lots of things to deal with on this board. A lot of confusion. I don't have the ability to open any of these. I could exit and re-enter over and over until I got something, but I think I'm just gonna work on this frosting first and hope that either um, I can find some good specials to make or the cascading process is just going to help me out here because that will often happen. So here I've got this. Now if I could wait and use this instead of where it's gonna bring down licorice twirls, use it where it's gonna bring down mystery candies. That would be a much better choice for me, I think. So we also have to watch what's happening where. This is where I want to set it off. I don't see that I can, uh, but I could also try to just set it off where we've got the ingredients coming down. That would be probably a better choice. So here I go. Now ingredients can come down. And if I just leave this alone, it will drop onto this conveyor, right? So I do have mystery candies open now if I can make some access there. Not going to open up the ticking time bombs. I don't see a reason for it. It's not like I need a lot of points. This is about to be collected. So I'm just making moves here. There we go. Now I've got these mystery candies and it could be bedlam. It could create so much chaos on this board, but I've got my next ingredient. And so I just have to allow this to kind of ease down here. Um, the ticking time bombs don't seem, seem to be too much trouble for me. Oh, I was gonna make a color bomb. Oh, well. Just in case I needed to help me with this. It's a bit crazy. Okay, now if I could set this off, I could just take it down immediately. I can't see a way to do that. So I'm just gonna create a bit of chaos anyway and see what happens. Oh, this came back up before it had come out and that's why I thought it was a pretty easy thing. So maybe it would have been best to leave that frosting there now I have to make sure I bring it through. This got covered over in frosting again, so I get no more of these. Tricky. I'm glad that happened to me because I'm glad to see exactly how it operates. Um, <clears throat> I like it when it when bad things happen to me, so I can try to help figure out how to work against those if they should happen to you. Okay, so now it's at this point in time where I have to try to bring this lower than the conveyor belt. I can't do that yet, but I might be able to soon, and I've got some specials here, and I'm going to make some more. I'm going to wait until it falls. Oh, there we go. It fell on its own. Um, if I had tried to bring it down just a little bit, it probably would have gotten stuck here and gone back up. All right, so this looks pretty good. Now I can bring it lower. There we go. Got it. So that's how I beat this board, with a little bit of confusion. Um, don't know about that, whether taking out the frosting there is a good or bad thing. I think maybe leaving that alone and just getting a setup where you can open up the um, ingredients right away and allow the board to take care of it is probably the best. You probably won't be able to do that, though. Things will open up on their own through cascading, so it's good to see how to get out of those bad positions. If you'd like to see more videos, you can subscribe. If you have any questions or comments, put those below. That was my first playthrough for recording, and as always, thanks for watching.